Welcome to the VNN Guide and inserting an embed code from High School Cube onto your VNN website. There's a couple different reasons you'd want to do this, or a couple different ways you could do it. You could insert the channel embed code, you can insert, insert an individual game embed code, you can create an article from that, you can create a, a page on your, on your school's website and leave the channel player there at all times. Uh, in this example, just to get the habit down, what we're going to do is we're going to go to High School Cube, we're going to go to your cube, we're going to grab an embed code, and we're going to put it in a new article so it shows the player on the front end of the uh, of the website when people go there to visit it. So what we want to do, we want to make sure that we're logged into your website. We also want to make sure that we're logged into your cube. And in this example, what I want to do is go to the share button. Now if you create an event, if you have your channel player, all of those you'll see this orange share toolbar. And what I want to do is I want to embed the channel video player. So I'm going to click on that. And by default, it gives you a, a medium width of 640 pixels by 460. Your VNN website's content area is 600 pixels wide, so we want to modify this. And we can actually modify it in the code. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to grab the code by clicking on it. I can right click on it, click copy. And now it's on our computer's clipboard. And now what I want to do is go to new article and we'll put on here channel player and in order to embed the code what we need to do and this is one of the few times that you actually switch from visual visual to text into your article editor so what I want to do is click on text and now we're gonna right click and we're gonna paste that embed code in there now, like I mentioned before, the width of 640 is, is about 40 pixels too wide, so we want to shrink this down to 600 to about 380. We'll do that for example. Now we can go back to your visual editor. As you can see, it, it's embedded the spot there of where the video will go. And we can go ahead and we can add text. We can add anything that we normally would in an article besides that. We can add photos. We can add a featured image. We can add text uh, for the article. What I want to do here is just add a description of this is the channel player from High School Q. All right, and that's it. And just for testing reasons, I'm going to say... Uh, this is a basketball related video. This is for our, our boys basketball channel in high school high school cube. And we don't need a featured image. This is just going to go in the normal uh, scroll of, of articles that show up on the front page of the website. So I'm going to go ahead and click publish. You also have the ability to add this to the showcase area of the website as well and that will put it as the, one of the four most recent articles on your website and if you don't add a featured image like always the system will assign a stock image for you so that it's not a blank placeholder alright we're good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and click on view article and as you can see here it's embedded the player and if there were actual videos live events archive videos they would show up in this cube here and you could watch them right in your website and people that come to the website can get that content right here and that's embedding high school cube videos and channel players on your VNN website